Hi, it's John from Android Alex, and today I'm going to be doing a speed test comparison between the Galaxy S21 here on the left and the Galaxy S21 here on the right. So the only difference between these two is that the one on the left here is running the Exynos 2100 and the one on the right has the Snapdragon 888. Okay, so we'll start with the big test. So these both come with eight gigs of RAM and have UFS 3.1 storage. So the main difference really here is obviously the CPU. So this is why we're doing the main test here. So funnily enough, the Exynos actually started up a bit before the Snapdragon here. Okay, so these are set up on the same Wi-Fi network. They've got the same brightness settings and the same display settings, which is obviously 1080p and adaptive refresh rate. I'm just going to pop into hardware info here, so just to confirm the specs here. So we can see Qualcomm on the right here and Exynos on the left. And what we're going to do, as per my other tests, is just run through the apps first, and then we'll do some memory management to see how the apps keep in memory. We'll then move on to the game section, then we'll do a speed test just for fun. I've also got the temperature widget at the top right here, so we can see we're currently at 34 degrees on the Exynos and 33 on the Snapdragon, so we'll just see if that goes up and down. So we've got nothing in memory. So let's begin the test and see how they get on. Right, so it's pretty much identical between the two of them there, but I'm just going to run through the memory management test now just to see and make sure these are all in memory.
Okay, so interesting there, the Snapdragon actually was worse with its memory management than the Exynos. Okay, I've cleared out all the running apps, we're now going to move on to the gaming test and just see how they compare in that department. Right, we're going to start with PUBG. Whilst this is loading up, we can see here that the Exynos is running at 36 degrees, the Snapdragon is at 34 degrees. Okay, so the graphics settings are as follows. So we're currently set to smooth and extreme. Now, on the Snapdragon, we can actually select Ultra HD and Ultra Frame Rate. On the Exynos, we can currently only select HDR and Ultra. So that's worth bearing in mind if you are a big PUBG fan and you want to go for the Ultra HD graphics. You can only currently do that on the Snapdragon version, so just keep that in mind. It's quite probable that it will come to the Exynos in the future, but currently it is only available on the Snapdragon. Right, so we'll just load into the training mode on both and see how long it takes to get into the game. Okay, so that's a win there for the Snapdragon version. Right, next up we have Call of Duty. Okay, so the interesting thing with Call of Duty is that we can currently only select very high and very high for graphics and frame rate on the Snapdragon, whereas on the Exynos we can actually set very high and max for the frame rate. So if you try and do that on the Snapdragon, it just automatically changes back, as you can see. So I'm going to set them both to very high and very high, and we'll just make sure everything else is exactly the same. So we'll turn off the bloom, ragdoll is off, we'll turn off anti-aliasing. Okay, so they're now set up for the same graphical settings. So again, we're going to go into a practice versus AI. I've set the map to be the crossfire map, so let's see how long it takes. Whilst this is loading up, we can see the temperature here has gone from 36 and to 35 on the Snapdragon. Okay, we'll just test the memory management between these two because when we load into Genshin, it's probably gonna kill off one of the games at least. So we'll just check if PUBG is still in memory. And yes, it is, it's on in both. So that's pretty good, they're both okay with that, so we'll go into Genshin now and see how that affects things. So these are both set to the highest and 60 frames per second, and I've moved to the same location on both, so hopefully it's as fair a test as can be. So it did load up just a bit quicker on the Snapdragon here. 
obviously it's a different time of the day but really that shouldn't really affect things too much there's no weather effects or anything so yeah that did load up quicker on the snapdragon but as we can see here the graphics are high and 60. okay we'll just check out the memory and although it's still running here, it does seem to have, yeah, timed out. So the game was still running, but it did time out. PUBG is still running absolutely fine on both as well. Right, next up we have Asphalt 9. So these are both set to the highest graphic settings. You can see they're both at 37 degrees now. Okay, so we'll load into a game. Okay, so that was definitely another win for the Snapdragon. So we'll just check memory again. Let's see if Genshin is still running. It certainly is. It's just reconnecting. PUBG. It has come out of memory on the Exmos. I'll just wait for it to finish to make it as fair a test as possible. And I will actually uh, mix it out to the main menu on here. Okay, so let's see if COD Mobile is still running in the background. It's not, so it has gone. So slightly better for the Snapdragon on that last memory test. Okay, now we're going to load up Fortnite. So we can see whilst this is loading up that the temperature is 38 degrees on both. It has just dropped down to 37, funnily enough, on the Snapdragon. So it looks like the Exmos has won this one. So I'll just show you the settings on both of these. We're at 60 FPS and we're set to Epic Graphics. So I'm gonna just load into the tutorial because then we're not relying on finding the server with people in. And we'll just see how long it takes. I will just uh, point out, I have set these to be as identical as I can so that any assets that are being loaded are the same on both. So let's load the tutorial. So that's another win for the Exynos, for Fortnite specifically. So let's just see what's in memory still. We'll check Asphalt 9, that's gone. Genshin, 
has gone. Yeah. PUBG is actually still there on the Snapdragon, so that's quite impressive, really. And Call of Duty has gone from both. Okay, so that was quite interesting, really. The Snapdragon seemed to load things quicker most of the time, but actually the Xmaster was better when it came to Fortnite. Memory management, it was similar between the two, but the Snapdragon did seem to keep uh, PUBG in memory for quite a long time, so that was quite impressive. So I'm just going to move on to the speed test now. And we'll just run a test to see how fast the Wi-Fi is working today. So the maximum my download speed can get to is around 60 megabits per second, and the upload is around 18. So that's pretty good there for the Exynos. I assume these are actually both got the same Wi-Fi card in, so there shouldn't really be a huge amount of difference between them. Okay, so overall the Exynos variant was better with Wi-Fi. We see 57, 55, 41 compared to 45, 53, 49. So this will just give you an idea as to what sort of speed you can expect. It obviously depends on your Wi-Fi connection, your signal, and a plethora of other things. So at the end of the test we can see that the Exynos is running at 36 degrees, whereas the Snapdragon is running at 35 degrees. So I just wanted to confirm the software versions here between the two. So this one actually had an update yesterday, we can see it's got the February security patch. This is still running on the January one, there's no update currently available. So there may be some improvements that are running on the Snapdragon, which aren't currently on the Exynos. Right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos in the future. The next video I'm going to do with these two is going to be the benchmark test, so be sure to subscribe to my channel for that. Let me know what you think about the Exynos this year. It's definitely better than the 990 from last year, not that that's very difficult, but I'd definitely say it's on par with the Snapdragon this year compared to how it has been in previous years. Temperature-wise, they have been about the same throughout the test. We obviously haven't done any heavy gaming or anything on them, but uh, they have performed pretty well, I'd say. So if you have any comments or questions or any tests that you want me to perform, just drop a comment down below and I'll see if I can do that in the next video. If you want to become a member of the channel, just click on the join button, that really helps out. And again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.